Uh, well, me and Osaka san went to America a few years ago and we saw a Traverse uh, demonstration by Will and Brian and at that time we had never done it and the guys showed us a few different techniques one of them was the hooks that we're gonna we'll be looking at today and they said you know once you start doing this you it seems like a pain in the beginning but once you start doing it suddenly you can just see so many different movements and angles when you're tree climbing and it's so true especially with this hook because it's so simple I just want to look at a couple of uh, techniques. The first thing, very simple, you need as much rope as the distance that you're throwing. And then just release a bit here to make it lighter as it's flying. Simply throw it to your anchor. Okay, well let's, we've cleared our obstruction and we want to spin it in the right direction for the uh, crotch. So again, we just put a twist in the rope and very easily it goes into place. Okay, very simple. Obviously that's not a, we can't say that's a PPE anchor, that's not a, a secure anchor. So we never detach from our main anchor. This is an aid to go somewhere and then put in a redirect, change anchor, something like this. So we've got our anchor, we use a little camming device. This is a rope man. And very Useful when you're traversing is the swivel. So that's what we're going to look like. Obviously, I can move around the rope now underneath it because of the swivel. We often get into kind of funny positions when we're traversing, so the swivel is very useful. When I want to remove my anchor, I throw some slack and then I just pull it back. So Shop K have more recently acquired these uh, apple hooks. Very cool. You notice this one needs a carabiner because these edges are too sharp. Uh, I'm actually using just the tail of my climbing rope. So my whole traverse kit, that goes in my bag, very compact, and I'm just using the end of my rope. So really, hardly any extra gear at all. This is very nice. When you're storing it on your harness, it means that it doesn't get caught on branches. Nice little detail there. Same technique, but what I found with the apple hook, the carabiner actually makes the hook align better than the yellow hook. The, the yellow hook can spin very easily out of position, but the carabiner acts as a guide. Very nice. Once you do it, change your life. 